So this deck is pure psychic. Okay. Well, that's pure. Mine's pure fire, so we don't have any overlapping uh, weaknesses. Weaknesses. Or anything. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's this deck again. Yeah, I completely modified it though. Oh, we get two free cards. Can't complain about that. Downside I is can. we do have something that can a can't actually. Oh no, I'm going first, so that's actually perfect. I will have something that can attack. Oh, Tepig. Mm-hmm. Alright, that's all I can do, but next turn I can actually attack. Now the question is whether the 10 damage to itself is actually buffed by the Muscle Bam, too. I hope it does. Sneaky placement. Put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokémon. Not the most powerful attack in the world. Good news is, your deck also has the ability to do extra damage with how much special energy I have in my discard pile, and I don't have a lot of special energy in this deck. Alright, let's get some more cards out. Uh, finally, some more stuff we can start going with. But I don't have any of the right cards I need in my hand. Alright. Yep, 50 and 10. Oh, is it, is it straight up do 10 damage? Okay. Wait, how do you deal 50? Oh, it's 30. 30 plus Dirt. 20, yeah. Oh, there's the Mew EX out. Alright, let's see what you got. Absorb life, 30 with a heal, 10. A 70 damage. And that Mew EX that can play around with everything. Yeah, I love it. Ugh, still not drawing anything I need. I'm taking a lot of damage myself every time I do these moves. Come on. Okay, that'll work. Tepig's dead. Well, that is unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Good news is it actually gives me the opportunity to use one of my cards. Max re Revive. Just put them all back in my deck. <laughs> nah. And that was less than useful. Delphox. How much... You're going to kill me next turn, aren't you? Um... I could stall a little if you want. <laughs> Cause yeah, totally dead. Or we can just completely try another round. Yeah, I think we might want to try another round. I have two Delphoxes, an Embor, and two Braxians in my hand. Oh, I finally got this. Yeah. But well. No mercy. Oh, why did I do that? That was. No, I did not. I thought I had enough energy to use my bigger attack. Uh, it bought me a turn, but the turn doesn't do me any good at all. Nope. Looks like you have enough, an issue and I with can't base. do enough. Yeah, I have a lot of issue not getting enough base Pokemon out. The interesting thing is the Bianca isn't very useful when you have a lot of cards in your hand. I actually think... Oh, wait. Yep. These guys have a power of getting me six cards in my hand. I actually don't want any Biancas at all. Let's see. I want things that can let me just draw up straight up off the top. Wow, Miss Magius' retreat cost is only one. <laughs> I gotta do this. Killing me with my own attack? Yes. The cruel, cruel irony of it all. <laughs> Did you do 20 to yourself? Um, no clue. Very weird. Alright, let me go fix that deck, because I just realized some of my supporter cards are not helping me there. No problem. Alright, so, since that one actually has the mechanics to keep my hand full... Oh yeah, because I have two Shauna, so let's get rid of these guys. Colores isn't bad. Um... Do I have a fourth Shauna? No, I only have three Shaunas. Or, sorry, it was the Biancas that weren't helping me. So that gives me two more cards to work with. 
I think I honestly still want to go with more draw, but I'm already maxed on Sharon's, so... Oh, wow, I just saw your hand. <laughs> yeah, it, there wasn't much I could do there. The cool thing is, if you're maxed on Sharon's, there's actually more ways to get draw into your hand, because uh, the Turnio also counts. He's a separate card, same effect. So now I have six draw cards. This deck has tons of draw now. All right. I really hope I can get that. Show my one card off in stream. Let's see if it work. This deck works out. So far, it looked like it worked out nicely. Oh, hi Izzy. Hello, Izzy. You can go first again. All right. Oh, let's see. Looking in what my I have in my hand. This is the better one to put down first. Let me build you up on the bench. Alright, Amuna. Let's see if we can find some cards. That doesn't really help me at all. You know the one thing I'm really grateful about what you don't have? You never put an N in your deck so I don't have to worry about... Losing I'm not a fan card. of it. It's useful, but it can screw me over, because most of my decks, I'm going to be leading in prize cards. Not to be conceited, but I don't plan on having a strategy where I, uh... Oh. Well, hello there. Oh, damn. But yeah, I don't plan on having a strategy where... Lo oh, god damn it! I wasn't expecting you to be able to attack first turn. <laughs> I figured you weren't. How much damage does that do? 30? 20. Oh, 20. But you're going to be dealing 10 damage to yourself, too. Actually, no, I'm not. Well, I meant if you use takedown. Oh! Uh, looking for an energy card? Ooh. Embor already? No, oh, no, you can't double evolve on one turn. I think you should be able to if you had cards like that. Wait, what? Oh. I was yeah. like, wait, why did it deal zero damage? I, I was getting around the one energy per turn limit, so now I can actually hit you with an attack that doesn't kill me. Decent time for Colress. Oh, for f Damn it, I hate that laser! <laughs> oh, that is so ridiculously frustrating. Now I have to draw Embor in order to save myself. Alright, well, let's see if we can find an Embor. Well, I didn't hear you complain, so... <laughs> yeah, found an Embor. And then let's evolve this guy up on the bench. So here's a nifty little ability. Draw me some cards. Alright, well that's not too shabby. So let's stick this on you. Let's draw some cards. Do this on you. Put one energy on you so you can use Heat Crash. Use your ability to power up the Del Fox. And then. So, if you runner. put a Rainbow Energy on Del Fox, would it deal um, extra damage? It would count as a Fire Energy. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch, you're, you're planning on using my own ability against me, aren't you? Maybe. Damn it, I had a good hand, too. Why'd you make me reshuffle? That's, that's the only Evo Soda I have. I'm so glad that wasn't in my pride card. It does give you some packs when you beat NPC trainers. So anyone who wants to start out, you do get about 45 packs. Plus, you start with a free deck your first day, five free packs your third day, and yeah. And up to three entire decks that you can unlock just by playing through the basic version. Alright, well this isn't going to be pleasant. Alright, let's see our prize cards. Luckily there's nothing in there that I'm worried about, except for the Evo Soda, but... Well, you got your two big ones out already. Mm-hmm. 
All right, I'll finish powering up the Del Fox. Well, and what do you have for damage? Um, I think I'm actually going to. Actually, I'm okay keeping him in. If I can draw the card I need next turn, I should be able to and finish off here. What do you have on here. that Mew? Hard Charm. Nice. Yep. Well, you can finish me off. Yep. I have a plan. <laughs> well, that's not a very fun-sounding thing. But I need to believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> As he would say. <laughs> Let's just uh, skip over that little plan then, shall we? Yep, oh, I can nice. rock guard. fire. Which gets me an end tie. And let's grab some more fire energy. You can have this one, I'll sacrifice. Damn it! No. Let's clear out some cards from my deck. That way I can have a better chance to draw it. All right, well, let's see. We can attach a fire energy to Entai. Okay. Entai. Damn it, I'll never pronounce it correctly. And then what we want to do is we want to use Del Fox's ability for first. So we Mystical Fire to get two cards. And then we share and get three more. And all right, so we can get up to that one next turn. So yeah, let's do some more damage. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's just grab that so we save ourselves. Well. Well. How many you still have? I can sacrifice one more. Well, that didn't help. I might have a few too many supporter cards in this deck, but at least I don't have too few. It's better to have a handful of them than... Who's got my most them. HP? Eh, mana. Oh wait, why'd I do that? That was just dumb. <laughs> I completely forgot it goes into the top of your deck, not in your hand. I'm not used to using them. Oh well, Mew comes out next turn then. I'm starting to get worried. All right. Well, let's see. What do we have in our discard pile? Ah, excellent. Put some fire energy back in. And then we can... Yeah, there's nothing I can do because it's that up. Brock guard screwed me over. Screw you over just a touch. And then we can... Eh, you didn't screw me over, really. You're going to kill me in one shot anyways. Because that rock guard, no matter what, i got to deal damage to myself. And let's see. All right, so now we have a choice between a couple different things. So Delphox will let us draw back up to six. This lets us draw five, so I think this is the better way to go. So we get five new cards. We can play some of the cards using his energy ability. How much health does Mew have? 120. 120. There we are. We can energy retrieval, which gets us the one energy, which we can attach. So Entei is powered up. We can okay. search. Entei, whatever. And we can mystical fire to get some more cards, which we can then attach. This deck pulls its energy out really, really quickly. Downside is I do burn through my deck just as fast as I burn through the enemy. So, a little bit of a mixed bag there. And I'm not sure what we want here. Don't really need the Evo Soda. Nope, still sacrificing. 
Yep, one more turn. The hell are you trying to do to me? I'm waiting for a card. <laughs> That's all I could say. Alright, well, let's... Oh, we ended up drawing an Evo Soda anyway, but that doesn't matter because we can just play that. So unless you got, like, an escape rope in your hand, I can might be able to win next turn if it comes... If it's on the top of my deck. <laughs> Alright, that one's powered up. Now he's powered up. And we can Mystical Fire for one more card. And we can start putting some energy on him. And Blaze Ball. Okay, here goes open. I bet it's in my friggin' prize card. Oh yay, this helped me out so much. <laughs> so what are you trying to look for? What was the strategy there? I was looking for my uh, Pokemon that can sleep and confuse and all the fun stuff to you. Oh, because then you could keep doing it from Mew. I get it. And then I was hoping to get it, um, the Tool Scrapper, too, to get rid of your... The Rock Guard, yeah. Huh. What toy do I want to play with? Oh, hey! I can do this. Oh, that is awesome! What so, are you doing? So, which one of your Pokemon has Fire Blast? Fire Blast? Oh, you're, uh... Delphox. Damn! Oh, yeah, because it just says discard an energy. It doesn't matter which one. So as long as you keep that one colorless on. I should not have evolved that. that Mew... It doesn't matter. You're going to win. Yeah, that Mew kind of plays with you, though, a little bit. Yeah, I was going to just keep your Pokemon slept and make your retreat left and right. Oh, actually, you can't retreat when you're slept. Yeah, that's one of the downsides to it. And, yeah, I don't think I can do anything else, so finish you off. Nice, well, nice use of the uh, seven prize card situation, though. Oh, yeah, I was making sure I was getting a... As much as I could. Do I do have tool scrappers in this deck, right? If I didn't, that's a dumb thing. It's something good to check. I always have one. I don't like having more than one, because unless you have, you know, a, a ton of Pokemon, it doesn't Oh, work. crap! I forgot my tool scrappers! <laughs> ah! Well, that would hurt you a little bit. 